welcome back let's see you the next um, tab that is supervision so it says that supervision lets you define policies that capture email and third-party communication in your organization so they can be examined by internal or external reviewers again it's a like a nice thing uh, this is very important what we've been talking about that uh, everything needs to be um, uh, document uh, uh, saved so they can see what was said what was promised and all that so at, at our work we are not allowed to send any user an email because you know this uh, they we provide email as well uh, <clears throat> and if a user and you'll be surprised how many user don't use gmail and yahoo they just use their isp email address <clears throat> there are two bad things one thing as soon as you get rid of the connection like you cancel your service you lose that access to that email as well so you are kind of like uh, bound with to keep the service so that's why third party i like it plus um, gmail you can access it from anywhere with uh, our uh, email yes you can access it from anywhere but latency issues and all that so it's always better uh, the gmail and all thing which have ha don't have like local server they have worldwide servers so uh, like i said that uh, some some users they want us to uh, to send them an email just because they are having issues sending or receiving email and they say hey can you send me an email and it becomes a problem when you like uh, uh, you as a help desk person gets involved with general publics uh, and you start sending them a email and then they get spooked some of them are uh, I just I received some calls I was actually uh, thinking about creating a series of uh, customer like uh, like what they said and what it was and all that but the thing with let's get back to the email thing like we're not allowed to send them an email from our email some you know uh, some for some agents it uh, verbal communication was not enough and you know <clears throat> they were told hey don't do that what they were doing it was they would create an email account like gmail or yahoo just to send help out some of the customers with the hints so what they were doing is they were copying pasting uh, internal documents about uh, setting up things and they were uh, sending them instructions so they um, they did a real good job with this one basically they blocked all of the email uh, websites like you cannot go on gmail or yahoo or hotmail or anything but they went, went one step further they actually <coughs> uh, the, the thing was still there, there in the back um, in the old days uh, that you could send an email uh, through the site like sharepoint site but they actually integrated it into our main tool so it's just one click we click it and the email is sent to them whatever the issue is so i really like it but you see you do not want to, your organization may not want all the users to use emails or they if it's like a, they want to keep an eye and this is where this plays supervision so let's see if we can create a policy or not based on uh, our grade office 365 premium license which i thought premium would be better than our business but it turned out not to let's see test governing policy let's go next choose users to supervise so which are the users you want to supervise it's not like hey i'm an agent i'm at the bottom and they want they are keeping an eye me no this is the other way around this is a user who is working with a uh, regulation committee uh, com compliance committee like a government body or this is a user which is uh, communicating with a very high profile client you want to keep a, <clears throat> uh, uh, an eye on that uh, like for it's a team and you want to keep an eye of what's being relayed and is it compl uh, does it comply with your company's policy or not or maybe it's like something important that the client is very high profile so you want to ensure that they are getting the correct uh, or the best service so add users or group so if it's a group you can add the group and because they that whole group 
is uh, if you remember the shared mailbox we did the video on uh, right uh, <coughs> shared mailboxes video you see that would uh, fall under this category as well uh, shared mailboxes so check this video out what to what I'm talking about so if it's a group is communicating with that high profile client you want to put that group's email here or you know <coughs> that would be you see accounts accounts at I have uh, the group we created desktop sport that's a group IT is a group uh, we created this IT one if you remember uh, or help help we created help us and help that's a uh, uh, help is actually the uh, shared mailbox we created so if you want to keep that under uh, survey uh, governing or supervision you can do though and you what you want exchange team chat Skype for business everything let's go click oh there's another option add a non supervised user specific user like uh, a user should be excluded you can do so from here direction uh, oh. <coughs> so this is the direction is that uh, what emails you do not want for example outbound sent to the user you want to supervise outbound sent from the user you choose to supervise not included this plus policy internal send between user groups you identified in this policy so use mesh data model and advanced sensitive information condition these are the thing that you you get to specify what is a condition <coughs> messages uh, this message is a exclusion that if this is then exclude it whatever so that's a condition as well so by default everything will be included whatever is being sent or received so we, we keep it as a uh, default domains or addresses so you can see if you put the email address if that email is sent or received then you can exclude it but we're gonna keep it as the default so let's go um, and remove it next so it's not like uh, uh, you want the like your company will decide and they are feeling like hey okay this group is very trustworthy they are veteran they have uh, very good at it so we're gonna just here and there check it so that's how we get reviewed we get an agent um, out of uh, the whole um, month I think um basically they review one call of ours each week so this is it so basically uh, some some of them like uh, they only review at the end of the month the big uh, four calls some supervisor they uh, listen to each call every week uh, and we we have a tool that we can go what they listen to what was the call about and what is their command so it's neat so it's like 10 percent you could put 100 percent here means that everything if it's a newer group then maybe your company wants 100 percent or if it's a very very high stake client then you put 100 percent there so the 100 percent of the communication will be supervised and vetted by a uh, supervisor let's go and next reviewer who is the reviewer let's put ali poor guy yeah right <laughs> He has um, everything falls into his shoulder, right? So this is the review. We saw everything. We can check everything and finish. And our supervision policy is created. That was not the magic moment. <laughs> it's still going on. I. <coughs> All right, it's done. So test governing policy. This is the one, and that is only here. So it's been <coughs> uh, uh, created. Now it will be applied uh, on that shared mail inbox. Everything will be there, and Ali has the responsibility of reviewing it. So <coughs> if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.